and temperatures right now are 26 degrees cooler than the same time yesterday. Our high yesterday was 49 degrees. That came during the 3 o'clock hour. Today, during the 3 o'clock hour, it was only 14 degrees. That's 35 degrees cooler. Our coldest temperature so far for the month of January and the coldest temperature in about exactly a month. We had an 8 degree low. It wasn't our high, though, on December 19th, and now it's January 19th. So temperatures right now are still sitting at around 14 degrees. There may actually be a couple of degrees of warming before we really start to drop our temperatures overnight. But it's 14 right now in Dayton, 12 degrees right now in Troy, 13 in Greenville and 10 in Bell Fountain. Wind speeds are still sustained around 15 miles per hour, 12 miles per hour in Springboro, 13 miles per hour right Patterson Air Force Base. So you can see that takes our wind chill down into the negative digits below zero in Dayton and in Springfield right at zero there at Springboro and at Wright Patterson Air Force Base. A look at wind chill tonight. We are going to slowly start to see our winds calm just a bit. We talked about that earlier in the newscast. So our wind chill should hover right around zero, if not a couple of degrees uh, warmer, if you could say that. Uh, six degrees is what it's going to feel like at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. And then we'll start to get back closer to a feels like temperature around 20, which will be closer to our actual temperature. Tonight's low will be 13 degrees. It's going to be windy, cloudy, and still very cold with a northwest wind 15 to 20 miles per hour still possible tomorrow though less windy we're looking at a north wind 5 to 10 miles per hour your high 28 degrees still tracking a few snow flurries not much accumulation the flakes are so small we can even barely even see any on our Troy Statter Center camera but you can see if you look at the parking lot there's some uh, accumulation that has been blown against the curbs. A look at visibility where it is snowing. We are seeing lower visibilities there through Wapakoneta, Urbana, Springfield, even Dayton. You could see about eight miles out ahead of you, but not too bad when it comes to those conditions. We'll start to see the cloud coverage break a bit after 3 a.m., maybe even a bit of sunshine early tomorrow morning, but then the clouds do redevelop and we are looking at partly cloudy skies heading into uh, the overnight hours Monday into Tuesday. A look at your hour by hour forecast You'll see that we'll keep the skies partly cloudy much of the day. 27 degrees around 4 p.m. 28 degrees your high tomorrow. A look at your storm team two seven day forecast. Yes, we likely will stay below freezing all day on Monday. Um, most likely on Tuesday, but though it will be close, it could break that freezing mark. Then finally on Wednesday, we get back to 40 degrees, but that's well above normal for this time of year. Our normal high is 35, so we've actually felt the winter temperatures uh, today and tomorrow. And then we start to inch back closer to normal on Tuesday, but then we'll be back above normal for much of the end of the week. And we are going to need to really bundle up today because I think that wind chill caught everybody off guard today. Yeah, the wind chill, when, it, when you go from a high of 49 degrees to wind chill below zero, oh, that's a big difference. All right, no surprises for some fans in the building, huh? Yeah, championship.